ان الحمد لله والشكر لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهديه الى يوم اللقاء when allah rabbul izza revealed the verses at the end of surah baqara lillahi ma fi as-samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa in tubdu ma fi anfusikum aw tukhfuh yuhasibukum bihi allah to allah rabbul izza belongs the dominions of the heavens and earth and if you conceal what is in your hearts or make it apparent allah rabbul izza will hold you to account to it now when these verses were revealed the sahaba were overwhelmed because the ashab are a very sincere generation and they try to implement every verse of the quran so trying to implement these verses trying to control the thoughts that would occur in their minds was overwhelming uh, how do you control what happens in your heart and mind and the verse stated that if a thought crosses your mind whether you make it apparent as in act on it action it verbalize it or you conceal it and do nothing about it allah will still hold you to account for it overwhelmed they came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and look at their demeanor allah rabbul izza be pleased with them the hadith says baraku ala rukab they fell on their knees to the prophet like they haven't come in arrogance and in cockiness or in challenging rather in humility on their knees o oh prophet amartana bi salati fa sallayna you ordered us to pray we prayed wa amartana bi zakati fa zakayna you ordered us to give zakat we gave zakat wa amartana bil jihad fa jahadna and you ordered us to perform jihad and go out in the path of allah and campaign and we did walakin al an ja'at allati la nastati' but now a command has come that we simply cannot do it how can you control a thought that crosses your mind and then before the majesty of Allah help be held accountable for it so the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said aturiduna an taqulu sami'na wa asayna do you wish to say we hear and we disobey instead say sami'na wa ata'na we hear and we obey ghufranaka rabbana your forgiveness o oh lord so these ashab the companions of the rasul these superhuman giants on their knees start begging sami'na wa ata'na o oh lord we hear and we obey we seek your forgiveness ya rabb and as they utter this and submission takes over their hearts completely jibril comes with the concession allah rabbul izza has said la yukallifu allah nafsan illa wus'aha laha ma kasabat wa 'alayha ma iktasabat allah will not burden a soul more than it can be for the person is what he has done and against him is only what he has done meaning if you do good it will be for you and if you do wrong it will be against you but no longer will evil thoughts be held against you in the day of judgment and in the court of allah evil thoughts that you held yourself back from and didn't action uh, and my allah rabbul izza bless and accept from one and all there is a lesson here dear ones only when you surrender to the wisdom decree command of allah rabbul izza does allah rabbul izza open the doors for you find a way out for you give concessions to you so in your life you will see allah rabbul izza's commands say something clearly but your reality would be different from that or you think how can i do that 
Tell yourself what the companions said. Say, we hear and we obey. And do your best in obeying the verses and the commands that you know you should. And then watch as Allah Rabbul Izzah opens the doors for you, easens your burden for you, finds concessions for you. May Allah bless you, may Allah guide you, may Allah guard you. فَقُلْتُ مَا قُلْتُ إِن تَكُ حَسَنَةً فَمِنَ اللَّهِ وَإِن تَكُ سَيِّئَةً فَمِن نَفْسِي وَشَيْطَانِ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ Thank you.